Roy Harris, the challenger who hails from Cotton Shoot, Texas, is a serious and confident young man as he makes his way through the cheering mob on his way to the ring. Not many fans here are giving the upstart, undefeated boxer much of a chance against the champion, but before this fight ends, he's going to surprise a lot of folks. Here's the fellow they all came to see, the world heavyweight champion, Floyd Patterson. Experts say he has the fastest hands in the business. He's the overwhelming favorite over Roy Harris, but before the cheering dies down, he's going to be the author of a smooth and rugged boxing lesson, and Roy Harris is his reluctant student. It's round one. Harris at 194 pounds in the black trunks. The champion Patterson in white trunks weighing 184 and a half. Both fighters used up round one in trying to figure each other's style. No damaging blows were landed. Patterson seeing Harris for the first time. Harris on the cautious side in the first round, fighting for the first time outside the state of Texas. It's round two at Wrigley Field in Los Angeles, California, and it's the big round for the challenger from Cut and Shoot, Texas, Roy Harris in the black trunks. Patterson in white. scores the first knockdown of the fight. Patterson is down, bringing the 17,000 fans to their feet. And now in slow motion. Watch for Harris's uppercut. Blocked partially from your view, but it knocks the champion down who takes a three count and is up fighting. Bushy Callahan motioning Harris to the neutral corner as Patterson comes up at the count of three and tears into Harris. A record gate for a boxing bout in the state of California, over $230,000 in the till. For Patterson and White, it's his third title defense, his 35th professional bout. part of a winning combination as manager Customato comes into the ring to give him instructions. And we move to the seventh round at Wrigley Field in Los Angeles. You'll see now indications of the cut above the left eye of Roy Harris in the black trunk. He was cut first in round three. His cornerman, Bill Gore, and Denny McMahon have done a wonderful patch job. once in his career has he been down, and that was against Bob Baker. He got up and won the bout over the 10-round route. Callahan counting to eight, and Harris is ready as he's bleeding from the cut over the left eye. In slow motion, watch the blinding right cross that Patterson uses over a left-hand lead thrown by Harris and puts Harris down for the first time in the bout. Round eight at Wrigley Field in Los Angeles. There's the champion, Floyd Patterson, coming out and to do the real damage in this round as he floors the challenger, Roy Harris, twice.
really felt that punch. He takes an eight count, comes back for more, and watch the champion bore in. knockdown, a thing of beauty on the part of the champion, Floyd Patterson. Three devastating punches, and Harris is down practically in his own corner for the second time in round eight. This time, however, he takes only the count of three, and now tells the referee that he's okay and ready and willing to continue. the champion. Some feverish work now going on with a cut on the left side of Harris's face, one in his right side burn, and he is busted on the bridge of his nose as we move into the 11th round at Wrigley Field before a record gate. In the 11th, both the champion, Patterson, and the challenger, Harris, stayed off the canvas. round at Wrigley Field. Manager Customato has been hollering from the corner to get Patterson to go out and finish it all. Well, here's the 12th round and it's the final round. In slow motion, you'll see Harris knocked down for the fourth time in the bout. Harris's face a gruesome sight here in the 12th round.
man's faces as you see them tells the story. How long can it go on? has been stopped. It's all over. Floyd Patterson remains king of the heavyweights after a bruising, exciting battle before 17,000 fans. Floyd Patterson, the smooth and relentless stalker, had a battle on his hands tonight as Roy Harris, the pride of cut-and-shoot Texas, does himself proud. 